Hello and welcome back for another watercolor journal idea in this series. I am Shana Searcy and I'm so excited to paint with you. Um, so today we're going to be doing another simple layered uh, watercolor. I'm going to play with a little bit of colors um, and swatch some of them out. And then I am going to use my Micron pen um, to put some designs over top of it. So I think this will be the last one for a little bit little while that we've been doing in this kind of style with lots of um, ink and wash so but let's see what we get today so I'm going to be putting in kind of like an asymmetrical layers of circles and ovals um, and really focusing on color and swatching out some colors so I want to do some muted colors again everybody seems to really enjoy these colors so I'm going to take Quadacridone Magenta and I'm going to take a little Viridian Green. So this is a very blue green and mix that in. And we're going to get this kind of dusty purple color. It's going to be a little muted. I think this is the color I'm going for here. So Viridian. All right, so let's swatch this out down here. I'm gonna just put a little circle down here. And if you want, like in your sketchbook, as you're trying new colors out, you can, if you do this a lot, you could certainly write on your sketchbook, like your combination, so you remember. So this was Quinn Magenta. And I'll put it underneath Viridian. Green. There you go. All right, so I like that color. And then I also want to do, I think I'm just going to use my raw sienna by itself. This is already a very beautiful, muted, lovely color. And, and then I want something kind of olivey, olivey green. So I'm going to start with my sap green. And I th I'm going to add a little, oh, I don't know, I think Quinn magenta might be a little well all right so i added a little tiny bit of quinn magenta a little bit more green to get this kind of olivey green color let me put this one down and then i'll put raw sienna again so this is quinn you might have to abbreviate magenta and sap green. And this was my raw sienna, so we'll put that down there. So I like this palette, this trio. I'm wondering if I should put a fourth in here, something in the blue, blue gray category. And I'll label that one in a minute. Let's do move that up there. Um, let's do phthalo blue. So I have phthalo blue. I'm going to add some Payne's gray. So I have this kind of navy color. This greenish navy. And then I'm going to add a touch of orange or a quin gold to this. And that's going to gray it out a little bit. Lovely. I think that's great. Okay. So this was, this is raw sienna. Raw sienna. And this was P-H-T-H-A-L-O, phthalo blue, plus Payne's gray, plus 
plus, what did I add? I added Quinn Gold. which is like a yellowy orange. Okay, so that's how we got all of these colors. Let's paint some fun shapes now. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start down here. I'm gonna put a big circle. So this project and this painting is gonna take a little patience because I'm gonna let things dry in between. I'm gonna continue to add layers. Um, over top, but each layer has to dry. So every time you add a shape, you got to let it dry and then move to the next one. So there we go. There's our first shape, big old circle. Let's move this down and we are going to let that dry and come back for the next one. All right, we're back. I am going to move on to my raw Sienna for my next shape here. And I am going to overlap it. And I'm using thin layers. As you can see, I want that overlap. I want the delicate nature to kind of come through. These don't have to be perfect circles, but spherical or circular kind of overall, uh, but not perfect circles. I'm going to do an oval next, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this also with my dryer. Maybe I'll just mute and fast forward this part and then we'll keep going. All right, I'm gonna get into my magenta and Verdian green combo here. I'm gonna do an, kind of more of an egg or oval shape over here. Here we go. Dry it and move on to the next one. All right, we gotta get to, uh, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do that green for this next shape or the bluish green again, but we'll do the green, this olive green color. I'm gonna put a big circle kind of up here And you can see how the transparency mixes with whatever's below it. So it looks different over the red than it does over the yellow. Just like these colors would look different if we mix them together in our palette. All right, I'm gonna do one or two more smaller ones up here and then we are gonna layer some ink over this with some fun drawing. All right, there we go. We have lots of fun layers here. The transparency is super fun, giving off that delicate feel. And now I'm gonna pull in my Micron pen. Um, I'm working on, so in my sketchbook, this is a cold pressed paper. So it does have some tooth to it, some texture. Um, so these pens, they can be a little tricky on this paper. They skip a little bit. You might have to go over things one or two times. Um, but if you like that look, then that's great. Um, so just keep that in mind. A hot press paper paints differently, but is kinder to markers um, and ink. All right, so I'm going to start. We're going to just do some like floral and leaf designs, I think, over this. I think I'm going to do some queen, like, what is it? Queen Anne's Lace type of flower or like these maybe it's not queen anne's lace it's like weeds basically from where i am these grow along the side of the road so just one long stem and then there's like a juncture in the middle and all of these swooping lines that come from the center double them up some space in between. All 
and then on the ends they have like another there we go like another layer of those little let's see if I can zoom in there a little bit yes I know I've been doing a lot of these like stylized more ink than watercolor kind of drawings but you know you sometimes get into a groove of liking something more for a little bit it just feels good to paint and draw in that style or so you do and that's okay but I think um, our next one I can't make any promises but I think our next one will not be using any ink I'm gonna do pure watercolor for those of you who are waiting for that let's do another one down here maybe a little smaller like that and then I think I'm gonna put some leaves intermixed with these sorry I know this angle is tough to kind of see what I'm drawing let me see if I can change the angle for you all right so hopefully that's a little bit better angle you can at least kind of see what I'm doing here drawing wise Darken this in. So this is a size, I'm using a size five, which is a pretty, pretty thick micron pen. All right, so let's add some little stylized leaves here. I'm gonna do these parallel to each other. I haven't decided if I'm gonna color them in yet or not. I wonder what it would look like actually if I did watercolor on these. Draw them out and then put like a little dollop of green inside them. Would you like to try? Let's experiment. So I wanted to put another one over here, but I didn't want it to be perfectly like symmetrical with the one over on this side. I felt like it would look just too not organic enough, I guess. Oh, my leaf shapes are getting weird drawing on this side. Okay, so we got some leaves, we got some doodles in there. Let's, let me see what that looks like with some paint. All right, I'm gonna pull in a smaller brush. Let's see what do I got here. I was not planning for this, sorry. All right, I have a size four. I have a size four Princeton Select brush. Um, and I'm gonna pull in some sap green just sap green I'm not gonna mix it with anything I don't think and we're just gonna drop some color and I'm not gonna worry about getting all of the space if there's like a little of the color shining through like little white spots I think that's okay for this particular style So just a touch, a touch, a touch. There. Oh, I kind of like it. Lovely. And you know, I kind of want to do a little bit more of uh, something in color. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe in a pink. Let's do like a little, I'm just going to do. All right. It might all go off the rails here. I really liked it up until this point, but I'm adding in 
just this scribbly little flower. I'm going to do like two of them. So just like whoop, like choo 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 choo. I don't even know. Like looping petals here like that. Okay. And then, <laughs> then we're going to take some, I actually think I'm going to take some cadmium red. Am I crazy? I might be a little crazy. I'm going to put it down here just to see what it's like next to these, if it's going to be so jarring. It is jarring, but I'm going to give it a try. Be brave, everyone. Be brave. Be bold. And, oh, it's going to be on top of this green, so it is going to be a little desaturated more than it is now. I think this is okay. All right, cute. I think it works. All right, so I'm going to leave it like that. So I enjoyed this one. The only thing that's bugging me about this is these two up here. I painted them at the same time. I didn't let one dry before the other, so there's no overlap. And they look like a like just a blob with no defining edges so I am going to create a bit of an overlap and I'm going to throw another one over here just to throw everything off in the same color I actually kind of like that like center look there. I'm gonna throw another one over here. Now I'm getting carried away. But it's so fun. Okay, one more, one more. I'm gonna do And I'm going to do one up here. All right, now I'm done. Okay, we're going to let it all dry. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial, um, having fun playing with colors and layering and a little ink and wash, being brave and bold, trying something that we weren't sure was going to work. Um, but I think it worked out just fine. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to check out the description for links to supplies and materials, um, as well as like this video, subscribe to this channel, share it with someone else who you think might also enjoy it. And I will see you for our next uh, watercolor journal idea. Take care, y'all. Happy painting.